tracked entity line lists. So we have a new we have a new output type in the line listing app. It is for having a a single row per tracked entity, and you are able to bring data from any program that that tracked entity is enrolled in into that row. Woo! Thank you. We really should have clapped more for the other products too. Okay, so let me just do a quick demonstration. I'm going to go over to the line listing app. And immediately what you see is our output types. We used to have only two, event and enrollment. Now we also have tracked entity. So I'm going to turn on tracked entity. And then I'm going to choose my tracked entity that I want to see my outputs for. I'm going to go ahead and go down to person. And then the keen eye would have seen that as I selected person, my left side dimension panel has also updated with attributes and data selection, data dimensions that are specific to the person tracked entity type. So I'm going to go by person dimensions. I'm going to turn on just a couple of person dimensions. And what we're seeing here are all of the attributes that are associated with the person tracked entity. I'm going to turn on last name and first name. And then I'm going to go into my program dimensions. And you see all of the programs that a uh, person can be enrolled in. Okay, so I'm going to go, I have just a couple of demo programs here. So I'm going to go into program one. And I'm going to turn on just a few data elements. I'm also going to go ahead and turn on the enrollment date. You can see how, it is, how easy it is to turn on data items. Then I'm going to go into program two. A very, again, a completely different program, different data. I'm going to turn on a couple of data elements and then my enrollment date as well. All right. And so now you see I have a line list. Each row represents an individual person. And you can see the data from program one here, as well as any data that exists for program two. Okay. So a big question is, well, what if I want to see those individuals that have data captured in one program, but not another one? For example, with, uh, many countries are using DHIS2 for civil and birth registration, also for immunization programs. You have a child that is born, they are enrolled in and data is captured for the birth registration program. Then you want to make sure that same child is also enrolled in the immunization program. Okay, So how do I see children that are in the birth registration but not in the immunization, who could represent maybe a zero dose or a loss to follow up? Well, it's very simple now. I can just go to a data element that's in program two, program two being the, in this uh, scenario, the uh, immunization program, program one being the uh, birth registration. And I can say, is empty null, click update. And so now I see a list of those individuals who are in program one, birth registration, who are not have any data captured for program two, immunization. 